Hey Virgo, this is Soul. And Virgo, this is going to be your general forecast for the week of uh, March 13th through the 19th, 2017. The messages will also be for Virgo Moon and Virgo Rising. All right, so let's get right into your messages, Virgo. Uh, for some of you, I think the, the feeling that I'm getting from this spread here is related to conflicts and emotional baggage. We have the energy uh, for some of you starting off with the seven of swords or machetes in the upright. Um, <clears throat> so this is a card in terms of um, energy related to possible conflicts. It's in the upright. So that means that uh, there is some possible conflicting um, energies that will be surrounding you this upcoming week. This is normally uh coming in from others this is a general reading so please apply the messages to whatever is close personal or significant uh, for you seven of swords also represents um things being taken away from you you know in terms of uh, material things not relationships now um possibly um the fact that it's showing up in the upright and it's uh your overall leading energy could mean that someone that i'm reading for has lost or misplaced something, uh, material goods or possessions, or someone may have, um, you know, picked up something that belonged to you that didn't belong to them. But this is also a card of energy of those things occurring. And then also to those things, when it comes to material possessions being lost, stolen or misplaced by you, uh, have the uh, potential of reoccurring this upcoming week um, but the most important energy that i'm picking up virgo here is conflicting uh energies here with other people now this could be directly uh, a result from air energies gemini libra aquarius male or female since the uh seven of swords or the machetes in this particular deck uh relates to uh air signs so it could be involving or involvement involving those energies some sort of conflict i do feel though with the seven of cups that's coming in next in the reverse is all about um that emotional feel that i'm getting that could be part of the seven of swords energy this is the card of options as well so some of you uh, may have had multiple options um to deal with and now that the seven of uh, cups is showing up in the reverse it's just the completion of that uh, having to make a choice and hopefully if that's the case i hope that some of you made the correct choice for you uh, because if you don't there are you know in the upright the seven of cups many things to pick and choose from if you don't pick and choose the right thing that's going to um, resonate or work out for you then it could be something that comes back and um, bites you in your ass all right now because the cups do represent love and emotions there's this conflicting stuff going on in terms of energy when it uh is directly related to relationships also it could be uh, some sort of conflicting stuff going on with children since the cups for me represent children as well uh, i do feel that there's some sort of emotional uh stuff that's going to go on this upcoming week whether it's tied into family issues family you know issues matters or it's involving relationships there's some sort of conflicting stuff going on um and then of course it gets uh for some of you a little bit um could be a little bit worse with the ten of swords showing up or the ten of machete showing up in the upright okay this is the card of back backstabbing and that continued conflicting uh energies what i have here for you virgo um is cups which represent emotions and then the last card is the eight of cups which i will speak about but right off the bat there's some sort of uh and this just may be for this upcoming week that you's uh, someone you's run into this type of energies okay but i'm i'm feeling that it's related to family matters um that may be, uh, present themselves or it could be that uh, family ma excuse me family matters are currently taking place now it's a general reading so we all have family we have, all have family matters and issues so but whatever it is 
uh, because I am reading for you. Take out of the reading what you can and then leave the rest alone. Uh, Ten of Swords or Machetes comes in as, you know, being backstabbed possibly coming in. Uh, doesn't necessarily mean a physical backstab, but also too the Ten of Swords could represent uh, surgical procedures for some of you too. So, uh, like I said before, this is a general reading, so it could be that some of you may be facing uh, some surgery this week, or someone that you know is facing surgery, uh, and it could be a painful uh, procedure. All right, so I am getting that energy as well. So. The last card that I have for you is the Eight of Cups. So it's dealing with the emotional conflicting shit. It could be tied into, you know, having to deal with uh, any surgical procedures and it brings on some sort of emotional stuff. Uh, when it comes to children, that's that Seven of Cups in the reverse and family matters. Having to deal with either family issues matters. It could be something related on the workplace environment. Um this is a card that could indicate physically walking away from emotional stuff, but it doesn't necessarily mean a detachment from, uh, you know, another person, although it could represent that. But what I'm getting for the most part is that you could still be uh, if it's tied into a relationship with another person, but you just no longer want to deal with the emotional shit that's coming along or has been coming along within that relationship. This could be a friendship as well. This could also be, uh, like I said before, co-workers, but I'm getting more family stuff than I am uh, anything else. But Virgo does not want to deal with uh, any emotional um, shit. This is Friday going into the weekend. Uh, and it's like you just want to walk away from it, but you may not physically walk away from it, but you are uh, addressing it. As I see the cups as, you know, certain things going on um, in terms of placement elements uh, in your life. This could be, you know, the cups represents family matters. It could represent uh, children. It could represent, you know, dealing with co co-workers, uh, anything that's creating some sort of emotional stuff for you. Uh, this is the week. I think that it has the potential of coming on. The focus here, um, however, is someone could come and, you know, come along and uh, it could be a best friend. This is a card for me when I read it uh, related to trust issues, uh, placement and trust uh, with another person. And then that person comes back and stabs you in the back. So that's one way of looking at it. The other emphasis is to surgical stuff, minor surgical procedures. It could be major surgical procedures, uh, but whatever it is, it's. Um, you know, if it is surgical procedures, I do feel that it's a successful outcome, but it's a very painful um, and it may be only painful after the procedure is done. OK, and then there's uh, something that might come along if it is related to surgical procedures that uh, taps into your emotions because it may be um, making you feel or maybe. Yeah, it may be placing some sort of limitations on you so if it's you know depending on the type of surgery that uh, i am feeling that someone is going to have if it's not you directly uh virgo it may be someone associated with you but then again your emotions get tied up in uh to that situation as well because it may be a family member that you have to look and care for after the procedure so something uh related to having to deal with some sort of emotional stuff okay and then for the ones who are actually having the surgical procedure, it could be that you are just feeling some type of way emotionally because it's uh, placing some sort of limitation on. Um, it could be your recovery, you know, if it's, you know, having to uh, say if it's, you know, you're having uh, knee surgery or um, some sort of uh, hip surgery or something like that. Well, then it that's the emotional stuff that comes in because it limits you because you can't get up and do the things that you want to do uh, so readily. So, so much stuff coming in here, uh, but I do feel with the sword, uh, the machetes coming in uh, is energy related to conflicts and uh, of course, mental agility and whether or not the cups represent uh, water sign energies, it could be uh direct impact with cancer scorpio or pisces male or female could be with any zodiac sign though 
anyway, um, it seems like it's going to be pretty much of a tough week for some of you. Um, like I said, always look at your uh, moon and your rising signs for additional information. And again, please take out of these messages what you can and then leave the rest alone. All right. With that being said, I do want to wish you all a very safe upcoming week ahead until I talk to you again, Virgo. Be well. Bye.